More than 20 parents in Boone County have been charged with failing to send their child to school. About half of them had hearings scheduled today in district court. I-team reporter Craig Cheatham has been looking into the stories behind the charges. I feel like I've tried everything I can. Chris Thayer says he's tried but repeatedly failed to get his 15-year-old son out of bed and into school. I don't know what else I can do. I mean, other than putting my hands on him, you know. And, you know, shoving him onto the bus, you know, putting my hands on him. I'm not willing to do that. On Tuesday, Thayer was one of 10 parents who had hearings scheduled in Boone County District Court, where they were charged with a violation for failing to send their children to school. I'm not a criminal. According to court records, Thayer's son had 24 unexcused absences and 13 unexcused tardies at Ryle High School during the first four months of the 2022-23 school year. Thayer says his son is the one who should be held responsible for skipping school. Do you put this all on him? Uh, you know, I'm trying to think back of anything I might have done wrong. Maybe I didn't put him in counseling soon enough. Uh, I honestly don't know. One parent, Marilyn Stanley, had her case enhanced to a misdemeanor because it's the third time she's been charged in the last six years. That means she could be sent to jail. What do you think they should do at this point? Oh, kind of probably look for a better solution to the problem instead of just threatening jail against me because it's not that I don't try to get him to go to school. According to court records, her 13-year-old son had 40 unexcused absences. Stanley says she and her son have been crushed by several family tragedies in recent years. Now she lives with her mom and doesn't have a job or a car. He's had a hard time um, with different things that have happened throughout his life. Um, can probably really affect somebody's motivation to want to get up and go to school. Boone County Attorney Jordan Dallas Turner told the I-Team, quote, historically, this office has prosecuted these cases in district court. I think the ultimate goal is to care for our kids and give them as many opportunities as possible to grow. I don't think I'm guilty. Chris Thayer told us he was nervous about the hearing on Tuesday. Um, plead guilty today. He pleaded guilty and paid a fine and court cost totaling $254. He says his son is moving to Montana to live with his mom. Four parents pleaded guilty to their violations today. Campbell County's chief assistant county attorney says they handle habitual truancy cases in juvenile court where they become involved in a six-month-long diversion program. Craig.